Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Iman's online class. Hopefully, you are safe and sound at home. So, let's get started with our today's class. First of all, let me introduce with you um, Ibrahim Khalil Laiman, assistant teacher in English, Harishor Gentleman Public School and College. Dear student, today I'm going to start with your English first paper for the students of class 10. So, let's get started with the new new lesson. Before starting, I mean, let me tell some name of the pictures. Can you see the picture? And what these are? The first one, gold cascade. The right one, lead cascade. And the last one, silver cascade. So how many cascades have you seen? Definitely the answer is very easy. Three cascades. So dear children, our today's topic is three cascades. Unit 14, lesson 10. Learning outcomes of today's lesson. After starting this lesson, we will be able to ask and answer questions. Read and understand the text through sight and reading. Describe and tell the stories. So before going through the text, let us know some new words to have a clear idea about the topics. The first one, cascades. So actually the cascades looks like box, ornament box, test. Or treasuries. We can cascade to save our ornaments. Another one, sweater. A man with a view to wait a particular woman, lover, or admirer. Three sweaters came to wait Portia. Scarf. Beer head. The prince of Morocco found a human skull in the gold casket. Deserve means iron be worthy of. He thought that he would deserve the best. Blinking fool. The meaning of this alternating shape of a fool. The Prince of Spain got a head of blinking fool in the silver cascade. Disappointed, upset or frustrated. The man in the picture looks disappointed. Offended, insulted or hurt. If you offend others, you will be offended. Appear. Appear means seem or look. Evil men appear good, good but act ugly. Ugliness. The front left picture is Mir Jafar and the right one Robert Clyde. Evil. Hostility. Malice. Bad people hide their ugliness under fine clothes. Messenger One who send message or peon and boy or we can say Rana. The man who send messages to other is a messenger. Dear student, now come to the text. From the continuation of Unit 14, Lesson 9, you can see there are three cascades. Cascades made of lead, cascades made of gold, 
and the last one cascade made of silver. Let's get started with the text. Portia's father wanted to a man to marry Portia for herself and not for her wealth. He had three cascades, made one of gold, one of silver and one of lead. One of the cascades had Portia's portrait in it. The sweater who would first choose the cascade with the Portia would marry her. The first one to try was the Prince of Morocco. He thought that silver and lead are poor metals. It is the cascade made of precious metal that can hold the precious picture. So he chose the gold cascade. But all he found was a picture of a skull with a message that all that glitters is not gold. The prince was very sad and went back home. The second one was the Prince of Spain. He looked at the silver cascade for a long time. On it, on it was written, he who chooses me will get what he deserves. The prince had a very high opinion about himself. He thought that he deserved the best. He therefore chose the silver cascade and opening. Inside the cascade he found a picture of a blinking fool. He was very disappointed and offended. He immediately rode away. The third and last one was Bassani. He looked at the cascade for a long time. He thought, appearances are often misleading. Bad men appear good and they hide their inner ugliness under fine clothes. So he chose the plain looking lead cascade. On opening the cascade, he found a portrait of Portia inside. Dear student, so let's come to the text, the whole text. These are the, actually the uh, hints of your text. Read the text and answer the following questions. Bassanio went to Belmont to visit Portia Grandi dressed with many servants. Portia's father had died lately. Before his death, he had thought of an unusual plan to find a good husband for his daughter. He wanted a man to marry Portia for herself and not for her wealth. He had three cascades made, one of gold, one of silver, and one of lead. One of the cascades had Portia's portrait in it. The sweater who would first choose the cascade with the por portrait would marry her. Many sweaters went away when they heard about such a strange condition. The first one to try was the Prince of Morocco. He thought that silver and lead are poor metals. It is a cascade made of precious metal that can hold a precious piece. So he chose the gold cascade, but all he found was a picture of a skull with a message that said, all that glitters is not gold. The prince was very sad and went back home. Let's come to the next. Then came to the prince of Spain. He looked at the silver cascade for a long time. When it was written, he who chooses me will get what he deserves. The prince had a very high opinion about himself. He thought that he deserved the best. He therefore chose the silver cascade and panned it. Inside the cascade he found the picture of blinking fool. He was very disappointed and offended. He immediately rode away. Finally, then it was Bassanius' turn. He looked at the cascade for a long time. He thought. Appearances are often misleading. Bad men appear good and they hide their inner ugliness under fine clothes. So he chose the plain looking lead cascade. On opening the cascade, he found the portrait of Porsche inside. Bassanio and Porsche got married. There was a great joy at Belmont, and the newly married couple were spending their time happily. 
pursuing their happiness, turned into sorrow by a piece of news. A messenger came with a letter from Antonio. The letter said, Dear friend Bassanio, all my ships have been lost at sea. I cannot pay the money I owe to Chalo, so I have to pay the penalty. Dear friend, come and see me if possible. I would like to see you once before I die. Bassani quickly left for Venice. So that's all for the text. I mean, dear children, that's for home, your homework. After going through the text again and do the questions. The questions are, why did Porsche's father make such a strange plan? Another one, write what you know of the speaker's case. Number three, how many people attempt to choose the right cascade? What was the result? Number four, who succeeded to marry Portia? Why and how? Number five, why did the joyous mood at Belmont turn into sadness? Dear children, hopefully you have understood the whole class. If there is any vagueness or unclear or misleading anything, misunderstanding anything, so please write on the comment box and you will get the answer very soon. Till then, thank you very much. That's all for the time being. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.